pretty huge. The paths are like a maze. There's no fog here like in the TV world, but it's different enough to make it hard to see what's here. Sorry, I'm not gonna be much help navigating you through here. I see. What should we do? Not a bad idea. Senpai, I believe... Would this be useful? I made it by putting the students' day planners together. I made it to write down where Ray's favorite shops were. But since you're our leader, you should handle more. Great idea! Senpai, make sure you draw a map of... An accurate map will be just... Oh, yikes! I don't think even you... So... Avoid them. What? Are you speaking of the FOEs? F... What? what? Fusis Oikane Eidolon. Yeah, that was too long, so we're using a nickname. Just call him FOE. We encountered one before meeting you. They are different from other enemies. FOEs, okay. I'm sure you'll know him when you see him, so just remember to steer clear. Well, good luck, everyone. All right! Er she, she always gets like this when there's a cute girl around. That's not it! Ray-chan has no memories, just like me. So I understand how sad she is. Oh, duh. You're right. Sorry. So, Ray-chan, let's hold hands. I'll protect you. Uh, cancel. I'd rather hold hands. Ah! Shut down on the first turn.
Whoa, what's with that giant one? I know what that is. That must be one of those SOBs. Kanji, don't provoke them. We're in enough trouble already. He that is an... We're gonna fight something that big? Oh, hold on. It's showing no sign of attacking us. In fact... Hmm, I guess we'll... Hey, look, everyone. Isn't that FOE thing just going... Now that you mention it, all it's doing is... Perhaps these FOEs have a set tarot. It doesn't seem to... Look at... that worries me. It's the teeth. You can handle this, no problem. This shadow shaped like a table. Like we still got a ways to go. Rachan, how are you doing? I'm scared, but I'll be okay. Uh, uh, Yukiko san, can I call you Yuki? Hmm? Uh, I mean, well, you're like a big sister to me. <laughs> Aw, of course you can. <laughs> I've always been drawn to this place, but I was too scared to explore it. But I'm okay now. I'll be strong so you won't laugh at me for being scared, Yuki. I'd never laugh at you for that. If you're scared, you don't have to push yourself too hard, okay? Okay, thanks. It's been just me and Zen for so long, but now that you're all here, I'm really having fun. Hmm. Zen? W what's wrong? No, I don't really understand. Uh, Ray, will you? Mm-hmm, of course. Yuki-chan, will you stay by my side? That reminds me, neither Rei-chan nor Zenkun uses a persona. Will you please stop ignoring me? Persona? 
Oh, yes. You mean the power of the heart you use. It's true that Ray and I cannot use them. You can face off with shadows even without a persona. I guess they're like me? I used to live in a place with shadows, and I didn't have a persona either. Huh, you're right. But you didn't actually fight them until you could summon one. Hmm, that's true too. I thought it might have been possible because of this strange place. There's something else mysterious about this. Why isn't our leader changing his personas? When we were in the TV world, he would frequently adopt all sorts of personas, no? A blank card? Is this the first time you're seeing this too? This does concern me. If you can only summon one persona here, that puts us at a severe disadvantage in battle. I think we should bring this up at the Velvet Room sooner than later. Yes, of course, it doesn't have to be right this second. But please don't forget, okay? Time out! Two doors. I keep thinking of. Yes, they are locked, and so I do not know where they lead. But I suspect. You suspect? One of them connects to the place where you belong. You're saying this is our exit? I sense familiar scents and sentiments from one of them, but. I think she's right. You do? What makes you say that? This room itself didn't exist until you came. To me, this is your place, and those doors there are also yours. But that's just a feeling I have. There's no evidence for it. Forget what I just said. Hmm. I had a feeling it wouldn't open. We'll just have to leave them for the time being. Nothing meaningless happens here. The door's role will surely make itself apparent in due time. Did you not have something else to talk about? As I recall, it was about the predicament of being unable to acquire new personas, no? Oh my! Were you eavesdropping? The lady with the supporting persona communicates with you from this room. I can't help but over here. Um, please, ignore Teddy and continue. It seems I'll just have to take a look. Please have a seat over there. These are tarot cards. They are used to see within you. The tower. Hmm. Um. There's nothing wrong with the tower in and of itself. I'm more puzzled that it was not the fool. What's this fool thing? The fool is the number zero. It is the arcana that symbolizes the beginning and endless possibility. As it implies, my guest can wield endless personas. We call that ability the power of the wild card. The wild card? But his usual power seems to have changed. You apparently are unable to change from Izanagi no Okami here. So he cannot change it to something else? No. His power of the wild card has not been lost. To think that this would happen, 
in this possibility indeed. Huh? What is it? In addition to the persona he cannot change, it seems he can take on another persona. This other one can be summoned at will. He may change between them as he likes. So he can have two at the same time? But the changeable one cannot be fully expressed. Consider it as playing a supplemental part. Izanagi no Okami is his main, and the changeable persona is his sub. He can use either as he pleases. That's the simplest explanation. Senpai sure is amazing. Ah, but I believe there's more. The Fool. It's as I thought. What do you mean? The favor of the Fool is showing on all of you. All of us? To have one persona as a main and a changeable one as a sub, allowing the use of two at once. It seems you all are capable of this. What? Wait, for real? But what has caused such irregular behavior? It's as if the power of the Fool has been strengthened. As if there is another with the power of the Wild Guard. Could one of these two doors be... Huh? There's someone else with the Wild Guard? Oh, no. It's nothing. C can Zen and I summon Personas too? Unfortunately, as neither of you had Personas to begin with, I think that will not be possible. Oh, but personas are so cool. Why don't Zen and Raychan have personas? I mean, they're fighting the shadows somehow. That is most likely closely tied to the mystery of this place. This is a haven in the rift, like a floating island adrift in the collective unconsciousness. Normally, it is no place for a living human. For one to be here, then perhaps they have taken on the qualities of being such as personas and shadows. Zenkun and Raychon are personas? That was only one possibility. For now, we can be certain of nothing. Now, do you happen to have one of these? I assume you have collected some from the shadows you fought. They are blank, indicating that they have not yet been guided to any specific destiny. Though previously you could only summon your individual personas, you can now summon others. If that is what fate has decreed, then these cards will fulfill their own roles. I recommend that you use these cards. They are your new Persona cards. So what do you think? That is all that I can tell you. Uh, so basically, we've all got the same thing going as my partner. A main Persona, a sub we can switch out, and we can take them both on at once. Seems so unreal. Huh? We're all following the same rules now? Even if it's only temporary, it's awesome being on your level, senpai! If you have trouble fighting the shadows, I recommend changing the personas you summon. Many of you are most likely unused to changing your personas, so you should try out several kinds. Well then, I bid you good luck.